Good morning. I'm George Latimer, Westchester County Executive. Welcome to the South County Trailway. Uh, we're here uh, in the town of Greenberg on the border of the villages of Ardsley and Dobbs Ferry to uh, check off on our list of projects that we have made commitments to improve the uh, completion of the renovation of the South County Trailway. I'm joined here today by our Deputy County Executive, Ken Jenkins, the Commissioner of Parks, Recreation, Conservation, Kathy O'Connor, the first Deputy Commissioner of the Department, Peter Tartaglia. We have with us uh, County Legislators, Mary Jane Shimsky and Jewel um, Williams Johnson. Uh, we have with us as well uh, Town Councilwoman from the Town of Greenberg, Ellen Hendricks. And did I catch everybody? I hopefully did. We'll be hearing from uh, some of these individuals in a second. Uh, this is the um, completion of a project that has been long overdue, as many of the capital projects that we've tackled in Westchester County have been. And you've seen over the, um, over the months in the last few years how we've been able to repair the North County Trailway, which exists north of 287, similar uh, a railway that's been turned into a uh, biker and walker path. Uh, the repairs that we made on the Spray Ridge Pools dating back now four years ago, opened three years ago. The Miller House, uh, Washington headquarters in, uh, in the town of North Castle, the work that's going on in Playland right now. This is an example of the continuing commitment that this government has made, and the government, including both the executive branch and the legislative branch, to look at the assets that Westchester County has and bring them back up to a usable level so that the people that use this corridor to walk and to bicycle, to enjoy nature, to get out exercise and health, are, are able to do it in a safe environment and an environment that really enhances uh, the value of this area of the county. Um, this project is part of a $3.1 million capital project. I'm going to have uh, our friends in the Parks, Recreation and Conservation Department talk a little bit more about it. But we're, we're very happy that it is now in a usable condition as we make our way from the late spring into the summer. It's going to get a lot of good use uh, both uh, during the summertime and the fall and even in the wintertime. And uh, we're very, very happy that we're here to kick this off. So let me first ask our Commissioner of uh, Parks, Recreation, Conservation, Kathy O'Connor, to kick us off and tell us a little bit about the project. Commissioner. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Kenny Executive Latimer. We are so excited to be standing on this fabulous black top. Um, we've been working here a long time, and I have never seen anything look so more, more beautiful than what we're looking at right now. As the county executive mentioned, this has been a long time coming, like so many of our capital projects, but we're really moving. This last year, two years, have been unbelievable progress for us. Um, as you've heard us say many times in the past, when we do our surveys with the public, Hands down, our trails, over our 200 miles of trails, come out on top, on top of golf, on top of the pools, beaches, conservation, anything else. People love our trail. This is the South County Trail is 3.6 addition to what has already been done up at the North County Trail. And collectively, I believe it's about a 64-mile run. And we are, as we said, just thrilled to have it open we want to thank our director of Con uh, our director of conservation, Jason Klein, all his staff. There is a specific uh, team that works on the North County Trail as well as the South County Trail to keep it clean, open, and safe for the public. So again, as always, we thank the county executive. We thank the board of legislators. Collectively, they have been fabulous over the last four years, working closely with the Parks Department and DPW and planning and everybody else, we seem to work with every department uh, to get these projects through. So congratulations to everyone. Thank you for everything, and uh, we look forward to a great summer. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy O'Connor, Commissioner of Parks, Recreation, and Conservation. Our first Deputy Commissioner, Peter Tartaglia, has been involved directly in the implementation of a lot of these programs, so I'd like him to share a few thoughts about this. Peter. Good morning. Thank you, George, and thank you, everybody here today. Um, if this is a case of if you rebuild it, they will come, they never left. Um, this was built, and we kept most of it open during the time that it was built with some closures. But the popularity of the South County Trailway, as well as the North County Trailway, is so high. We have many parkways that bring people by car north to south in this county we have one North and South County Trailway that will bring you from Van Cortlandt Park 
in the Bronx all the way up to the Putnam line. And that is this part of this pathway. And it is an unbelievable service to the people of Westchester. It used to be the old Putt. It was known it was a railroad that would take people from uh, New York City, uh, from the Bronx specifically, up to Putnam County. The land was given back to the people over many years ago and built, and it was time to rebuild for the future. And that's what we're doing in Parks and Recreation, Department of Public Works, Department of Planning, County Executive's Office, Board of Legislators, and everybody else in county government. There are a couple of people here who are instrumental in this particular project. Uh, Rob Lopane from the Planning Department, who is the designer of the project. Thank you, Rob. Um, and our, our team members from DPW and T, which are Nadia Savage, Savage, sorry, Nadia, <laughs> and Vince Altamari. We all work very closely together. This is a government that works together. It's not the Parks Department versus DPW versus Planning. Everyone works together, and it starts with the leadership of our county executive and our board of legislators. So we thank them very much. We've got right now, to George's point, 50 active capital projects in county parks. They're either in the construction phase, design phase, bid phase, or just about to be completed like this phase. So again, thank you to everybody, and have a great summer on our, in our parks. Thanks very much, Peter. We want to take a moment to make sure we recognize the decisions that were made by people who preceded us that made this possible. And there are three individuals, all of whom have passed away in the last five to ten years, who were prominent elected officials in this county that were the governmental and more political force that made this happen. County Executive Al Del Bello, County Executive Andrew O'Rourke, and Yonkers Mayor Angelo Martinelli were three principal individuals that helped make this happen all those years ago. That was before I was involved directly in, in government. Many of us uh, were uh, active in the community, but not in the positions that we hold now. And we owe a debt of gratitude, and we ought to pay that debt of gratitude when we look at uh, the opportunity that we have to fix things that have fallen into disrepair. What we're really doing is fulfilling the vision of the original people that identified that this would be a great asset for the public to have. Two of our county legislators were, were absolutely uh, critical in advocacy in the Board of Legislators to make sure this happened. They represent districts, they're not the only two districts, but districts that straddle this corridor, but they were outspoken voices uh, to make sure that the legislative support for this was there. So let me introduce first legislator Mary Jane Shimsky. Thank you so much, George. It's a very, very happy day. As uh, Commissioner O'Connor pointed out, our trailways are definitely our most loved and most used recreational facilities. This stretch of the um, South County Trail has been in disrepair for a long time. Um, I have been receiving dozens of calls about it on a regular basis. And I felt so bad when George got elected because I knew he had $2 billion of capital projects to take care of and at best bandwidth for no more than a couple hundred million a year, and that's even pushing it. So it took time to make it through the list. First, we got the crumbling bridges taken care of, and we worked our way through, and now the trailway is in great shape. And I want to thank everyone from DPW, from Parks, from the County Executive's Office who helped make this all possible. And in terms of investments, this is one of the best investments we could make. We all know that we have an obesity pandemic in this country. And people need exercise and recreation to beat that back. We all know that dementia and mental health issues for people of all ages grow with, with the lack of proper recreation. That is why facilities like the South County Trailway are so, so important. And this will help ensure the health and the mental health of our residents for decades to come. Thank you so much to everyone. County Legislator Jewel Williams uh, uh, Johnson uh, is a healthcare profession uh, professional 
Um, and now in serving in this legislative seat, uh, she succeeds her mother, Alfreda Williams, who is also a very, very strong advocate for this, has brought a, a level of urgency for us to do a variety of different projects. And so uh, for this to be completed very early in her tenure as a county legislator is a sign of her impact already as a member of the county legislature. Jewel Williams Johnson. Thank you so much, George. Um, I just want to take a minute to echo uh, my colleagues' sentiments and thanking everyone. Um, you'll excuse the pun, but th this trailway really is a jewel of the county. And um, as Legislator Shimsky said, it's so important in the recreational aspect and uh, as a positive for uh, health. We tend to think of mental health separate from health, but it's definitely part of our overall health. And I know how important this trailway is uh, recreationally and even for commuters as well. So thank you to the Department of Public Works, the Parks Department, and I also want to echo what uh, County Executive George Latimer uh, said. Um, this really is uh, a culmination of the synergy in our government from the county executive to the various departments and the board of legislators. And I'm just proud to uh, be a part of it, although I just started in January. I know and can share my mother's uh, a pleasure in seeing this uh, completed. So uh, thank you and encourage everyone to get out and utilize this wonderful, beautiful, uh, renovated trailway. Thank you. The county works cooperatively with other levels of government. Um, maybe that may not have always been the case, but certainly over the last few years, we're trying to be good partners. Uh, we are at a point uh, within the town of Greenberg that's very close to three villages, village of uh, Ardsley, village of Dobbsbury, village of Hastings is not very far from where we are, village of Irvington, in fact, is not very far from where we are. And the people who use this pathway come from all over. People will drive, park, and then be able to walk and bike it. But certainly the town of Greenberg uh, encompassing those villages as well. Over 90,000 residents in the town uh, see this as a very critical recreational facility. It may be county owned, but it's used by the people of the town in the same way that uh, uh, the Macy uh, uh, complex up the road, which is a county owned facility is as well. Town Councilwoman Ellen Hendricks is with us here. And on behalf of her colleagues on the town board, I'd like for her to just say a few words as well. Councilwoman Ellen Hendricks. Good morning. I live just up the road from here. And I've been afraid to ride on this trailway because having been the survivor of a serious bike, bicycling accident, um, the, all the, it was an obstacle course. And now I can't wait to get back on my bicycle and traverse the county. So I am so grateful to, to Parks, DPW, the county executive, and the, the deputy county executive, the board of legislators, for making this happen. They work very hard, and I am very grateful. So thank you. We're almost done, but not quite. Uh, there isn't an issue in the county that doesn't happen without the leadership and the involvement of deputy county executive Ken Jenkins. When he was county legislator Ken Jenkins and then chairman of the county board of legislators, his district is uh, on the other side of the dotted line between Greenberg and Yonkers. He was a strong advocate for this and, in general, our whole plan of, of improving our capital assets, both in the recreational field and then in other parts of county government as well. So uh, I want him as well to share his thoughts. Ken Jenkins, deputy county executive. Well, thanks, George. And, and, and certainly, again, it's, it cannot be echoed. Um, as much as, uh, as, as County Executive George Latimer um, does not like to take the credit for that. You need to have the leadership of County Executive Latimer, as Mary Jane Shimsey pointed out, getting in office to look at that two, point, um, $2 billion worth of capital projects and make the investments necessary. The battle for county, the South County Trail, as, as the County Executive pointed out, was a tremendous battle. Um, first, we had pieces that were not done in the southern part, specifically in Yonkers, to connect, which did not allow all the investment to have happened on the South County, county Trail as it did in the North County Trail. Um, so it was Mary Jane Shimsky's dogged efforts to ensure, and people are laughing because they know, uh, dogged efforts to ensure that there was 
the investments that were necessary to make the connections up in Elmsford, to do the other investments along the way, and certainly all of our friends from Commissioner O'Connor, um, you know, Pete Tartaglia, our folks in planning, uh, everyone that's involved, Jason, and certainly all the people in DPWT that have made this thing happen, working through different um, concerns as individuals have brought them up along the way. But it's another example of the kind of investment and leadership that's necessary and as County Executive from day one said that we were making sure to invest for the people of Westchester because they're not our parks, they're the people of Westchester's parks and to make sure that the investments are there for years and years to come. So with this particular completion of the South County Trailway, uh, it is bringing it up to the, the level that the North County Trailway has been done right from the beginning of, of County Executive Latimer's administration and all of us working together is how this gets done. So once again, congratulations, Mary Jane, Jewel, Jewel Williams Johnson, um, in continuing on the, the particular thing, but all of the legislators working together, make sure that Westchester residents can go out and play. Thanks so much. When I uh, first became County Executive a little over four years ago, the very first thing I did was an executive order to take the name of the county executive off of all facilities in Westchester County, uh, except for the door that leads into my offices on the ninth floor. And, um, you know, as I would drive around, I would see names of governors and uh, mayors and county executives splashed everywhere. But I saw that, that many times that, that the work behind having the name on the sign was undone. And, and what we needed to do was focus on the achievement not on who gets credit for the achievement. The credit for this achievement is more about what, what Rob Lopane has done with his professional skill. It's more about, uh, more about Nadia Savage and her professional skill than it is the name of the county executive. And so I thought the right balance of things, and Ken just said it, these assets belong to the people of Westchester County. They don't belong to the county executive of the moment or the board of legislators at the moment or people who serve in other positions of legislative responsibility. We come and go. But the repositioning of this former rail line into a bicycling and walking path, that's the story. That's the story of vision that occurred 20, 30, 40 years ago, and now a commitment to that vision with the professional skill set of the people that exist in county government and as we go outside to contract to do certain work with expertise that we don't have inside county government to maintain an asset that people benefit. The people that you see in the background, just walking, jogging, riding a bicycle, they don't necessarily know a bit about how this got financed, how this got designed, how this got done. All they know is this is a good path for them to walk on, to run on, to bicycle on. And they know that their taxes that go to Westchester County is, is being used to improve the services, improve the benefit they have. Over the course of this week, this is a Friday and we had a Memorial Day Monday where we were all at, at ceremonies where we talked about things. During this week, we announced free bus fares. During this week, we announced the signing of important legislation that dealt with the issue of guns in our county. We had a public forum for three hours on the future of the Westchester County Airport. We, we announced our economic development initiatives and where we're, we're funding things. Later today, we're going to say goodbye to our Commissioner Sheriff of Public Safety who has served this county for 39 years. This is government in all of its different facets. This is not politics campaigning for office, attacking the other person, talking about how your party is better than the other party. This is government. This is fixing an asset. This is honoring people that have served nobly in government. This is, is, is putting a financial benefit for people who ride our public buses. This is making sure that we have public dialogue on the future. This is why you have democracy. And when you hear those of us in public office say, we have to fight for democracy, it sounds like hackneyed words. But when people in office are committed to certain principles as we are in fixing assets, as we are in public dialogue, as we are in recognizing other people and not putting our name on every theoretical sign to take credit for it. That is what our founding fathers intended. Our founding fathers did not think about the South County Trailway and the fixing of, the, of this roadway and the people bicycling on it are not thinking about our founding fathers. But you ought to think about it. You ought to think about that's why you fight for democracy, so that rational people with authority can do good and positive things. That's what we've done today, a good and positive thing. 
And I want to thank all of my colleagues here, the professionals in the department, uh, my fellow elected officials, the role that Ken Jenkins and the other senior managers play. Today, we announce that we're proud that we've done a good thing. Uh, we have a member of the press present. If there are any questions, we're happy to answer them, myself or anybody else who's here. And if not, we have a feed that uh, uh, you can certainly follow up with us. Uh, both uh, Lori Sage from the Department of uh, Parks, Recreation, and Conservation and Carolyn Chaffee, uh, our Director of Communications, would be happy to take any questions that you have. You can reach both of them uh, directly. Uh, you have information, no doubt, if you're in the press and how to reach us. And we thank you for being here today. The weather held out. And let's go Rangers tonight. Thank you. Thank you.